guys welcome back to my channel so if you watched my other video you'll notice that this is the look that I got from my first impressions and you know I'm trying to get these videos out so comment down below how you like the look but today I have another haul video but this is going to be drugstore stuff so I'm just going to jump right into it. Some of these items I did get from Rite Aid and it was 50% off so I'll just say that. I did pick up the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. Um, I tried to color match myself as best as I can so I did use it. I wasn't impressed. I'm going to play with it a little bit more and see. CoverGirl is rebranding. And I like the, the new brand. So CoverGirl has been coming out with some pretty good stuff once they rebranded. And they have the Just Gimme Noir eyeliner. I'm bad with eyeliner. Liquid liner, I'm not too good at. I have my good days and I have my bad days. So I do want to give the gel powder a try. So we'll see how this goes. And I picked up the CoverGirl Flourish Mascara. It's supposed to give you defined volume and it has lush ingredients. So the Maybelline Total Temptations Mascara, I believe, has coconut in it. And I do like this mascara for a very natural look. This one says it has coconut, avocado, and papaya oil. So I'm really intrigued and excited to try this because... It seems like it's going to be good for my lashes and I hope it helped my lashes grow. And along with that, I picked up the Lash Blast Amplifying Primer. With any makeup product, you should always prime. So adding a primer on your lashes is going to give it that extra oomph even before you put on the mascara. So it conditions and primes the lash. It amplifies lash for thickness. So hopefully this works. And I did buy the Vitalist Healthy Glow Foundation a while back along with the concealer and I wasn't too hyped up about it. There really just hasn't been any foundations that I've been crazy about lately. But this is the Vitalist Healthy Glow Highlighter. So it's just like a, a cream type form. Let's see. This is very, very subtle. So if you're looking for like a blinding highlight, this won't be it. Oh, like I can't even tell. This you could probably do on top of a tinted moisturizer or even just your moisturizer for a little hint of a, a glow. But it's not doing much. It really blended out to be very subtle. Um, If you don't blend it out, you could probably build it to get a nice highlight. I'm going to play with this and see what I get. Another CoverGirl item I picked up was the Get In Line Liquid Liner. So I know I said I was bad at liquid liner, and I am, but practice makes perfect. So I will be practicing, and I thought this color was neat. It's teal crystal. The brush is very, very thin, which should be good. The color is on the brush a little. I'm not really getting much product. Okay, there we go. It still seems a little sheer. It's kind of liquidy and I did have to build it. It was pretty sheer. But this is the shade. This It's a pretty blue. It's a pretty teal color. But it was liquidy and I think that is going to be a real problem trying to do a wing liner with this. I will be doing another first impressions video featuring all drugstore products. And the last CoverGirl product that I got was just a lipstick in the color Hot. The choosing one, I just picked a red. You can't go wrong with red. So, yeah, that, this is classic Maryland red. That's pretty. And it's pretty opaque. Yeah, like I said, you really can't go wrong with a red. Moving on from CoverGirl, I did pick up some of the Tweezerman tools because they were 50% off as well. So I got the Rose Gold Slant Tweezers. 
when I was working at Sephora, I wanted some of the rose gold tweezer men tweezers so bad. These are pretty, these are like top of the line tweezers. And I like rose gold, so I picked these up. And I'm going to use them on my brows ASAP because they need them. And another tweezer man product I got was the eyelash curler. I don't really use an eyelash curler, but I want to start to see if it makes a difference. So, why not get it in rose gold? And I picked up some lashes from Ardell. I got three. These were part of the Mega Volume line. This is what this one looks like. in the last pair these are so spiky and i'm loving these i really can't wait to put these on and then i was so happy i wanted this collection from wet and wild for the longest time and i did not think i was going to get it i thought i was going to have to wait because obviously the box that they do was sold out but god just put it in front of me I was walking along, minding my business and doing my work, and I just so happened to look down and the whole collection was there. And then, it goes 50% off, so it was safe. So I did pick up the Wet n Wild Summer Collection. I got the Baked Blushes. These are so pretty, like, back then. They have, which one is this, Hummingbird Hype. This orange is so beautiful. It matches my dress. I can't wait to use this. Then they have a light pink. Wait, is this? Is this? They have a pink one. This is kind of a light pink. Called Don't Flutter Yourself. And then they have this one called Dare to Soar. It's more of a magenta type of color. They had the blush brush that came with the collection. This handle is so cute. I do want to get the other. Ooh, and then it's so soft. This is so soft. I do want to get the rest of the brushes from their pro collection. Their pro line brushes. The rose gold package. Like, it's rose gold. I need rose gold everything. But this is cute. Then I did pick up both of the lip scrubs. Um... I'm very particular about my lip scrubs because my lips are dry. I have dry skin. So my lips tend to be more dry. So I do like a good, a really good exfoliator for my lips. So, but these were half off. So I did pick up two of these. This one is Citrus Elixir. And this one is Pucker Up. I think I'm going to like the watermelon one more than the orange, but you never know. Then I got all three of the eyeshadow palettes. Um, They look so beautiful. I used to buy Wet n Wild all the time. I actually was looking for a specific collection, and that's how I walked into Rite Aid. Ended up applying and getting my first real job. I actually became a supervisor at Rite Aid. So... God, God look out for me when I shop. A lot of good things happen to me when I shop. So why would I stop shopping? I shop. That's what I love to do. My whole life is just, just shop. Good things happen to you when you shop. But they had, what it was, it was walking on eggshells. And I wore that palette to my first interview where when I got hired at Wendy's so Wet n Wild has been really good to me as far as the job department goes but this one is called Flock Party these colors are so beautiful oh my god I think I'm gonna pick a week where I just wear all Wet n Wild shadows cause this is gorgeous and I just wanna go through them all and then the next one is Stop Ruffling My Feathers. This is more of a neutral one, like an earthier type one. Pretty. 
And then the last one is Asa La Costa Baby. And it has the bright pops of color in it. That is so cute. I was going to pick up this liquid liner from Ulta. But I'm so glad that it, we finally did get the collection in. And this is the pink one. And you are my wingman. Ooh, that is so pretty. And when wild liquid liners are no joke, they really stay on and they are very pigmented. Well, it looks I don't I thought it was a pink. I think it is a pink or like a light coral color, like a light peachy color. But it's right on the mark for summer. then they have this green one this green one is pretty dark it looks black oh that'll look pretty with the liner from urban decay that i used today it looks black but it's green i'm trying to catch the light it's like a dark green so you could do a spin on a classic wing with that and then this one is gold and I saw someone use this in a tutorial and I did not even think that it was this product it was so pretty this gold is so pigmented and so rich it's such a rich gold so pretty I love wet n wild liners even though I don't I can't really do liquid liner that well. Those liners are hot. They came out with four lip glosses. And these shades are so pretty. I can't wait to put these on my lips. So these are the glosses. And they are so pretty. And I love the packaging. Like, this is right up my alley. How they have the black and white chevron and diamond print but the birds on it and the birds are so pretty Let's see i'm gonna swap the first one is house of paradise Let's see what this looks like. okay they they're pretty opaque and they don't feel sticky on the back of my hand this matches my dress i'm gonna have to wear this dress again when i do my first impressions for the drugstore and we're going to see which one comes out the best that is so pretty and then the next one is featherless so it all has a bird theme This one isn't as opaque as the first one, but it's still pretty. It's a pretty light pink. Ooh, this is gonna this this one will be so pretty for just a natural look. Mmm. Yeah, I like that. And then this one is Love Bird Affair. red glosses like i'm not really into red glosses but this one is pretty that's like really great oh this looks so mm. oh i can't wait to film this video i'm gonna do that tomorrow this red is really pretty and i'm not really into red glosses but this red is really pretty all of these colors are gorgeous and then the last one I have is, the last one is Shut the Pluck Up. That's funny, Shut the Pluck Up. If my babies was here, they would have said it. Especially Christian. He don't give a pluck. He really don't give a pluck. Ooh, these glosses are so pretty. And they feel good on the hand. And this one is Shut the Pluck Up. 
a pretty plum color. Those are so cute. Those are so cute. And then the last thing from the collection that I have is the primer water spray. And I'm so excited because I do not have the Smashbox primer water or the Hangover primer spray by Too Faced or any primer spray. I don't have any primer spray. I might have like a sample of the Urban Decay one. I'm not sure. But I was so excited to get this because I want to try it out. I'm not too really familiar with primer water sprays. But I definitely want to try this out. And Wet n Wild is affordable. So we're going to see how it goes. And then next, I was in Target. And I told myself I was not going to buy any more makeup. Because I had just brought all of this stuff from Rite Aid for 50% off. I picked this stuff up along with a couple of other things. But I put it all back. And I was about to leave the store. But it just called me back in. It pulled me back in. So I went to Maybelline and I picked these products up because I just couldn't pass it up. The colors are bomb. So I did pick up the Maybelline Lemonade Craze palette. It was sitting on my hit list for the longest time, but I was debating because I haven't really watched any videos in depth like review videos of this palette but these colors oh my god the color scheme of it is gorgeous and i'm here for this for the spring like this color right here what is it this color right where did it go sugar coated oh my god that looks so gorgeous lemonade craze looks pretty i'm really excited to see how that yellow pulls on the eye and then main squeeze is a pretty pretty yellow gold it looks like lemonade i'm so excited for this palette like this palette looks gorgeous like amazing And then another thing from Maybelline I got was the Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in the shade Peach. Because I love the other ones. The other shades were so good. I decided to pick up this one. And I saw somebody talk about it on their Instagram stories. That's pretty. I think it was Jackie Ina. That is so gorgeous. Like... I don't even know what to watch it. Stay less. That's how I feel about that product. Stay less. The highlighters that I've been picking up lately have just been so good. Like, I know I'm a highlighter junkie, but I'm just about to start sleeping in highlighter. These highlighters are good. These highlighters are bomb. I'm shook. So shook. Like, I can't. And then looking through my magazines and I saw this collection from Essie and I did tear out the paper because I wanted a few but I forgot about it when I went into the store they had a deal when you buy two Essie nail polishes you get a five dollar gift card from Target so I was like I could get nail polish and a five dollar gift card to come back and buy more stuff yeah these are the two that I picked up. I'm not sure of the name of the collection, but it's the newer one. I'll link it down below. But these are the two shades. And they're just so cute. I love pink. Like, I'm really becoming a little pink princess. 
comment the princess emoji down below we're just gonna throw emojis all over my videos because i want to see who actually watched it so comment the princess emoji down below but these are the two colors that i got um you and me in the sea this is what it looks like and i got don't be selfie so i'm guessing it was like a sea theme which really doesn't make oh i think it might be a beach theme it would make sense for the summer so yeah this one is don't be salty it kind of looks like sand pretty sand and i know this isn't makeup but i did pick this up from target while i was there target shoes were 20 percent off and they were a good price so i did pick up these sandals they i want to go back and get the other colors but this was these were the only ones that i saw in my size and i wear a seven and a half eight but with sandals i just get the eight because i don't want it to be too small i don't want my big toe to be hanging over the edge of the sandals so i just get the eight um and what 16.99 well 15.99 plus 20 percent off it was not bad and these are so cute i already know if terrence see me in these he's gonna call them jesus sandals but i don't care these are cute this is gonna be my neutral sandals you know to go with my lighter color outfit and then a gold accent is so pretty i pretty much wear gold i really don't like silver so these will fit right into my wardrobe really well and then the next pair i saw these a while back and i wanted to get them but i was just like don't get them they had this color and then they had a white pair and i was watching a youtuber's instagram stories and she put the white pair on there and she was raving about them and i was like i know sis i know i know i was gonna get them like i see you we're here i was going to get them but when i went back and I tried to look for them. That's even that's how I ended up by the shoes. I went into Target for a mop in a bucket. And my smell good for my clothes. They don't have it anymore. They do the scent boosters, the in wash scent boosters by Downey. They don't sell a scent that I like anymore. So I just gotta get the fabric softener in the dryer sheets. But I want the smell good like my brother say the smell of it yeah they don't sell the scent that i like anymore but i ended up all over picking up things that i didn't need i ended up buying makeup then the thing is i went over the last i traveled to the shoes went around the store i did my little round yeah i shouldn't have so i didn't see the white pair but i did pick up the black pair and these are pretty too they do have it's not gold but it's kind of a copper bronze type color and these are so gorgeous and they're comfortable i wish they had the white pair i'm gonna try to look online and see if i can get the white pair this kind of goes with my joint but yeah they need to put a sign beware of target because you'll leave out with a new house a couple of kids you'll end up with a new life messing around with target so that is all that i got we're gonna try these products on and see if we could beat this beat that i got today so thanks for watching see you in the next video please don't forget to like and subscribe